Hi everyone, Ray from LoveYourRV.com out boondocking in the gorgeous southern Arizona desert. Um, the other day I got a comment on one of the videos and the person wanted to know how I had my uh, truck bed set up for uh, traveling. And we tow the Cougar fifth wheel so he was interested in what was in the truck bed and how it was all set up so I thought I'd go through and uh, show you uh, what a, how I set things up and where I place everything when we're underway. So let's take a look-see. So I have an eight-foot box which can be quite the advantage for storing extra stuff when you're uh, towing with a fifth wheel. So at the back here I keep my uh, ladder right at the back. It's a fairly heavy ladder so it doesn't move around too much. It also holds down. I got a, several mats, welcome mat and a big rubber mat and and over here I carry my water. This is my uh, pail I do for I have for washing the rig and stuff like that. I also use it as a garbage bin. So what I do is I, uh, I just put a, a water jug in it to hold it down when we're traveling. And on the other side I have another water jug. So it's usually carrying uh, seven gallons of water in there and also a, a milk crate. That milk crate doubles um, in use for uh, when I go off to get propane. I stick the propane cylinder in it so it keeps it upright. Also, uh, let's go up to the front here. I just carry this little strap here. Kind of holds in my generator gas jug there. And then I use it for strapping down the propane when I'm off to get uh, the cylinder refilled. Um, here's my uh, jug for uh, window washing fluid. I carry a couple of jack stands. They sit in here. Um, usually a full water canister here for the dog. There's the dog water bowl. It's a collapsible bowl. It sits down in there. Um, stuff back here is actually my old uh, walking stick. It's a really nice uh, carbide Lecky walking stick. Unfortunately the, the wood knob rotted off so I've actually put on a bunch of uh, vet wrap. <laughs> it's for a good handle. Anyway that just fits down in there. Uh, of course you see my uh, remote solar panel. It's attached to this toolbox. So I got two toolboxes. Got a, a aluminum toolbox with uh, diamond plating on it and then a good heavy-duty uh, plastic toolbox. So down in here is where I carry, I got a ramp um, for changing tires. It's, uh, you can pull up onto it and a, when you have a tandem trailer the other tire lifts up. Um, that's my cord for the solar panel there. I, bought, I went with a really heavy duty, this is actually the same cord that 30 amp uh, RV power cables use so it doesn't move around at all. Down in here I got my heavy rubber chocks. They don't go anywhere. I got a couple uh, mats and on top of those mats I usually place I got a couple heavy uh, rubber uh, pads I carry for the front jacks there. They're uh, made of recycled tires so they're a few inches thick and quite heavy. So they also sit down in, down in this spot and hold everything down. Uh, let's go around to the other side. Um, you can see under the, the hitch is where my spare tire gets uh, carried. And wedged in there is a couple more, uh, more uh, things for uh, ramps that I can use if I'm changing tires or if I really need a lot of uh, lift on the, the trailer, say we're in a really uneven spot. Because I also carry a couple of big uh, planks of wood. That's usually what I use to balance the trailer with. I cut them just to the, the right size. But I can use these uh, yellow plastic ones to, to raise it even more if I need to. Let's go around to this side. Not much on this side. I carry a, a six and a half gallon water jug. Kind of just fits in there. And down in here, I usually is where I cram my uh, my uh, additives for when I'm fueling up because uh, I'm on the the gas tanks or the fuel tank side here. 
What else do we got? We got a, a window washer thing. A few odds and ends are crammed down there. So let's give you a look inside the, the toolboxes, see what's carried in each of those. I guess we'll start with the big black one there. I'll pull off that panel. Okay, first we'll have a look in the black box. Oh crap! Oh, that's where I kept that beagle. I'm looking for that beagle. Okay, come on out of there. There we go. <laughs> that freak you out? <laughs> oh, I think you deserve a pig's ear after that. What a mean guy. Okay, that was beagle abuse. Now I feel bad. Here, chew on a pig's ear. Okay, no, no harm, no foul. Let's get back at this box. Okay. So, there we go. This is mainly where I carry my uh, extra hosing. Um, let me pull some of that stuff out so I can give you a closer look. There we go. I have a 50-foot uh, hose for washing the rig. Got a spare 25-foot water hose. I um, also carry my hose and a uh, little pump for uh, feeding water in to the rig when I'm boondocking out of jugs. And over here I have my um, Valterra twist off waste gate and it's got the, the way to hook up to my waste master system, the cam lock there. And then that other cam lock is for uh, connecting my extension hose onto the main waste master so I can go out 30. 38 feet to dump. So what do we got left inside? There's a tarp, good sized tarp. Um, some truck hose. I carry the lower and upper rad hose and some heater hose just in case it blows. Um, there's an old chalk. I carry a spare serpentine belt. Never know if that breaks. Um, in there is hydraulic jack. Um, jumper cables and there's a dry bag down there as well also have all kinds of different uh, bungee cords and stuff like that um, there's a couple snacks down there tuna snacks emergency food and some wax battery cleaner that sort of stuff so all kinds of odds and ends in that box let's check out the, the one behind it now okay this uh, heavy-duty rubber box also is a walk-on, so it's nice. Uh, if I need to get up high and do something on the rig, I can park the truck close. So in here, this is where I used to carry two generators. Um, this trip down south, I hadn't used the two-generator combination for a long time. We bought the two generators to run the AC when we had an elderly dog. I wanted to make sure he was cool, but... Uh, the way we travel now, I didn't really need the second generator. So I left it with my brother-in-law over the winter so he could use it. And I just carried the one champion. And that freed up a lot of storage space. I was able to bring stuff that I stored in the rig up front here. Kind of spread the weight out better. Over here we have a funnel for adding oil. Oil for the truck. Antifreeze for the truck. Down in there is my uh, torque wrench and uh, sockets and stuff for doing the, the tires. In the back, down there I have a, a small spade and a good size axe. Over here, some of these uh, rags. I've got my uh, socket set, uh, emergency triangles. They've been beat up over time. <laughs> um, I've got my air compressor for pumping up tires and stuff. Uh, down there, is my new battery booster box. It's stored down there. I have just some spare tools here. Let's dig into here a bit. I have some gloves and a couple more funnels for changing the oil on the generator. Another uh, socket for the truck tires in there. This is kind of my odds and ends uh, screw and nut box. <laughs> My just in case box and another odds and ends I got some uh, decorative caps I took off the, the trucks wheels um, we have 
tape. This, uh, all that stuff for, uh, that's expanding foam for the trailer. Um, tire uh, puncture stuff. Uh, this is for my k and filter, cleaning it. Oh, and way down there, can't forget that. That's for uh, towing my wife's boat, the, the hookup wires. Oh, that sounds like I am now. It's off for a hike. Hello? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, cool. Okay, bye. Bye. She's off for a hike somewhere. We're just testing out our uh, two-way walkie-talkies out here. She's somewhere over by, there's a truck camper way over there somewhere. Where is it? Anyway, back to what I was doing. Okay, so yeah, that's all the goodies I keep in there. And finally, this little bag is just kind of an odds and ends bag and all wrenches and stuff in there. At least I can maybe fix uh, fix stuff on a, if we break down. So I won't go much into that. I'm going to do do a post pretty soon showing all the tools I carry. Someone wanted me to update on an old post I did and see what I see what I carry as a full timer. So look forward to that. Well, there you go. I hope that uh, helps out and gives folks that are new to, to RVing with a fifth wheel some ideas of what they, they might be able to set their uh, truck box up like. Now I can go back to my uh, boondocking here and join uh, Southern Arizona. It's about uh, January 31st and it uh, feels like it's around 75, 75 degrees or so, not a stitch of wind. Awesome. Until next time, this is Ray from loveyourv.com. Cheers everyone. <laughs>